All right, my old roommate just messaged me and said that I have a package and I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but I mean, it could be a couple things, but considering the timing of events that have transpired lately, I'm pretty sure it's ISOM number one and I got cover A I'm so stoked. I really hope it is it. Anyway, I gotta leave this job and then I can get my car. I'm so stoked. I, oh, there's a car. I can't wait. I'm so stoked. All right, let's go get it. It certainly looks like it's the right size. And I got some other stuff too, but you don't need to see that. All right, and now is probably the hour trip back home, but I think I'm gonna stop and get some McChickens first because I'm hungry. Shining with a heavenly grace Help you right on by And there ain't no road just like it In and where I found Running south on Lakeshore Drive Getting into town You're just slipping on by on LSD We're here Hello, can I get uh, two McChickens, please? Okay, anything else? Nope, that'll be all. Okay, it's gonna be 4.30 at the first window. Thank you. My pleasure. 4.30. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You as well. Alright, I didn't get a chance to look. Let's put on a light. There we go. Eh, it works. I didn't get a chance to look at the front of the box. There it is. Look at it. I'm stoked. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna unbox it for you guys and you'll get to see what it looks like. I can't wait. I'm so stoked. Ugh! I can't wait. I gotta say, I'm really, really fighting the urge to just open it now. <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm. Don't worry. I'm gonna get to my apartment, and then I'll actually unbox the thing. But look at that custom box. That's so nice. Oh, gotta move up. Gotta move up. Oh, there's nobody behind me. But still, wanna move up. That was two big chickens, yeah. Awesome, thank you very much. McChickens acquired. I imagine you probably don't want to see me just going and like driving on the freeway and eating my scent. You can't even see what the fuck I'm saying. I imagine you probably don't want to just see me eating a sandwich and you know, driving. So I'm going to leave this for now and then uh, I will be back when I'm home. Well, maybe not like in my apartment. Huh? 
We'll, we'll see how I decide to film. You're not the boss of me. I'll just film whatever I want. Yeah. Freedom. All right, we're home. It is time to head up to the apartment and to open the Ripiverse. All right, it's time. A uh, couple disclaimers before we get started and uh, unbox this. The first being, uh, you're gonna hear my fan off to the left. I apologize, it's been really hot here as of lately and I just got home and I, of course, left my fan off and there's no uh, unit in here yet. So, sorry, it's just gonna, you know, you'll deal, it's okay. And uh, the second being that my setup is uh, very crude at the moment. And uh, given the angle of this here camera here, uh, you're going to see probably a pretty jank setup for how I'm unboxing this. Uh, considering the fact that I even had this uh, tripod in the first place, let me show you. I, it's like right on top of me. So here's the camera here, room in the background, and the legs are like right here. If I hit this, it's going over. And that camera's, like, luckily I'm on carpet, so it won't do too much damage, hopefully. But it's time. Without further ado, I've been waiting forever for this. It's, been, it's finally here, this nice, beautiful packaging. And, of course, I'm gonna blur all this out, but uh, this is it, it's here. All right, let's get this thing open. Uh, I don't think I have a, uh... oh, I do have a knife. Reach over here. A uh, supernatural knife, actually. Put that up to the camera, and hopefully the camera can uh, pick that up. All right, let's do this. Uh, this box I probably don't want to keep, but I definitely want to keep the, uh, of course, the inner box. Uh, what if I just, yeah, let's just cut it down the side. Okay. Ooh, it's like multi-folding. Hold on, I'm gonna have to, like, mess with this a little bit. Okay. Put that flap down. All right, are we ready? There it is, look at it. Oh, it's so clean. Can I like pin this back somehow? There it is. Oh. There we are. Cover A. Look at that. All right, let's take a let's take a gander. Let's open this bad boy. Oh, see, I I gotta be like careful with the camera right there. Man, it's a pretty hefty book. Good uh, shipping it with the cardboard. Nice. Keep it. Oh. Ooh. The artwork for this is crazy. Man, look at that. It's I got a nice color gradient. You can see the uh, light up in the background. I imagine there's a couple buildings off to the uh, off to the side over here, and there's a gradient as it goes down in the light. So down here is super dark. Up here, exposed to the light. Really nice touch. Man. That's so cool. That's so awesome. Oh wow. I it's almost like um uh it's almost like photo paper almost. Like the actual I don't know if you can hear that. It's not like uh if you've ever read comics before, it's not the paper type that the actual pages are made out of it's yeah it's almost like glossed photo paper right that kind you would literally print photos on that's almost what it feels like to me it's a very nice glossy finish 
Oh, wow. Man, look at that artwork. I'm noticing a particular style of, like, gradient, where the top half of the frame is a more light color, and then the bottom half is almost like a darker tone. I don't know if that's going to repeat, but that's something I'm picking up immediately. I Some Ill-Advised, Part 1. Eric July, writer. Cliff Richards, artist. Gabe El Taib, colorist. Eric Weathers, letterer. Alan Ford and Carol Brown, copy editor. Marcos Rios, concept artist. And then a nice letter from Eric. Should I read this out? I'm going to read it out. Mm, yeah. I'd like to thank every single supporter, fan, and colleague that has helped make my many dreams come true, but this comic book venture is easily the most ambitious project that I've had the blessing of committing to. Welcome to the Ripiverse. Nice. This is the launching pad, and it's just the beginning. I hope you enjoy Isom, the story, and the other characters that are introduced in this book. It's here. All right, let me uh, peek through a little bit. I don't want to uh, read much, but uh, let's see if I can find... Page. Yeah, here's one. Ooh, that's a little bloody. YouTube may not like that very much. <laughs> Let's do this one. Look at that. Yeah, even the pages are. It's not quite the same as the front, where it's like the um, like almost like a glossy uh, photocopy paper. It just feels like good quality paper, you know? It, it, if you've gotten the comic book, I, I got the hardcore version of, uh, the hardcover, rather, version of Civil War, uh, number one. Uh, not number two, number two, I got the issue, the, stand, the individual issues. Uh, it's not like in the combined comic. But um, I almost don't know how to describe it. It's, it, it's just a good quality paper. It, it, it genuinely feels like there was a lot of effort put into the construction of the book. And l just look at the artwork here. Good paneling. Wow. Okay. I don't want to give away too much. But, uh... Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, look at that. Backwards will be back. Backwardsmusic.com. Man, that's all. That's awesome. It's got all the members of Backwards. If, if you don't know, Eric July is also a, the lead singer of Backwards, the the band, the uh, metalcore band. Man, that's cool. That's so. That's so awesome. I wonder if uh, if Gabe and Cliff did this as well, or if uh, Eric did this on his own. I'm not sure, but man, that's that's awesome. Oh, don't don't put that in there. <laughs> oh, that's a good spoiler. Okay, honestly, I kind of figured that this was coming, uh, but. I'm going to keep that for when I read it and then I'll do a uh I'll do a spoiler review and then I'll do a non-spoiler review of the book of issue number 1 of Ison and uh that that last page ooh Eric that last page my guy I see it not the backwards the one prior you you know what it is you know I know you know kind of figured but you know what I want to read the book first, and I want to get too into it. Uh, thank you for watching this unboxing video. Uh, if you like this, uh, the pre-order campaign is done, uh, but I believe that uh, Cover C's will, uh, they have a bunch of, so you can still order uh, C's, but I think Cover A and B are out. Uh, I don't want to give away, I don't, or I don't want to give misinformation on this, so go to uh, ripiverse.com and get the book. Uh, you can't get this cover anymore, uh, cover A or cover B, um, 
those were strictly to the pre-order campaign. I don't, you probably win them in the future, or maybe people sell them um, on uh, eBay or something, something like that. Um, man, that's so cool. I love the, I love the cover. I'm I, I'm gonna like stare at the cover forever. Yeah, go go to riververse.com, get the book. Uh, I can tell you the book quality is incredible. Um, I'll, I'll have more to say in the actual review of the book. But just on my initial first impressions, first of all, I'm incredibly excited. The artwork is incredible. It's got an incredible uh, uh, pencil work. That, like, I, I'm not a penciler. I'm not a, a comic book artist. But I can definitely tell uh, like the amount of effort that went into it, especially even just this cover. Uh, there's so much penciling that's needed just for ice on the character, but add in all the backgrounds and the multiple panels, you know, add in everything. That's a lot of penciling work. Man, I, I can't wait. All right, that's it for me. I hope you guys like the video. Subscribe to see more, especially for my non-spoiler and spoiler review. Really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in ISOM number one non-spoiler review.